Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video from the Inkwell. This week we're taking a look at a vintage pen circa 1979. This is the Pilot Elite. When this model was released in 1978, it was part of a five pen group using the iconography of Cleopatra, Beethoven, Newton, Nightingale, and Socrates. This was the Socrates edition. The pen is notable for its simplistic black resin trimmed in 14 karat gold with Elite written above the notched gold collar, and it's the ancestor of the modern day E95S. Another notable feature of the Elite is its short stature. Here, we compare the size of the Elite to that of the Nakaya Piccolo cigar. You can see that the Pilot Pen is about one quarter inch shorter than that of the Nakaya Wind capped, and that the cap extends to two thirds of the Elite's capped length. Uncapped, we see the length stays the same, but the Elite does show a much longer and gently tapered section. Now, let's take a look at the trim of the pen. You can see Pilot engraved on the clip and the word Elite inlaid into the resin above the collar. Also apparent is the age of the pen, as you can see micro scratches in both the resin and the gold trim. Considering the pen is over 25 years old, I'd say that this pen is still in great shape. Now, taking a look at the nib, you can see how we tell the age of a pilot pen. Just to the right of the hood, you can see the number 779. This tells us that this 14K nib was manufactured in July of 1979. A couple footnotes before we begin the writing section. This is a short pen, and as such, you will be limited in your choices for filling mechanisms. In this case, I did use the included Pilot cartridge, but I did refill it with the Atramentus Petrol. You can use the Con20 and Con40 converters as well. One last thing, as you can see, it's going to fit uncapped, very small in my hand, so I did the writing sample with it capped. One thing of note, this writing sample was not done with a primed pen. This is straight uncapped after having sat for about a day and a half. So you can see this broad nib does have very good flow. Now, taking a look at the writing sample from the side, Take notice of how forgiving this nib is under medium to heavy writing pressure. Also, take note of a good example of why I tend to not write in print when I can avoid it. This next little bit, I'm going to slow down the film just a little, so you can see, as I was writing at normal speed, how much give the nib actually did provide. And, let's take a look at the actual wetness of the nib. I would call that a medium to medium dry nib. So thank you for joining me for this quick look at the Pilot Elite Socrates Edition. Now, fun fact about this particular one, it was supposed to be a catch and release so its owner could go ahead and sell it over on the Pens and Friends Discord. When I ended up writing this review, I fell in love with the pen, so I went ahead and made an offer to keep it for myself. 
Thank you to Dr. Brownlee over at Not Another Pen Podcast for selling me this pen. If you want one like it, you can head on over to eBay or check the vintage markets. If you want to buy its modern incarnation, head on over to channel sponsor Pen Chalet, where you can click on the radio podcast link at the top of the page and enter Inkedwell for your site-wide discount on literally everything. It's site-wide. Now, if you liked this video, don't forget to click that thumbs up. If you don't like it, go ahead, click the thumbs down. But don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at The Ink Dwell and support the channel at patreon.com slash The Ink Dwell. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you next week.